let's save you a little bit of bread if you're interested in getting into the house of Amouage. I'm gonna put you on to how I would buy or which fragrances I would buy first if I were gonna trickle into the space of the house of Amouage. This might be a series that I might do with all the collections that I have. You don't have to get the entire collection. Nobody has to get the entire collection. It's absolutely stupid if you decided to do so. But which ones I would pick for you to start in that journey with that particular house. So scroll my motherfucking music so Uncle Kuba can put you on to what fragrances you should get first for the house of Amouage. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. Getting into anything niche space is bread at the end of the day. Unless you're a content creator and planning to make this into one of a hobby slash business, I wouldn't suggest getting all these fragrances. It's absolutely asinine. There's so many various price points. Inflation is crazy. Shit is all over the place. And free money and PPP scams are no longer existing. And if somebody did a PPP scam loan to buy fragrance, I swear I will jump, snap, meal, kick you in the side of your head. Trust me, my fat ass could do it. The house of Amouage. I'm a fan of the House of Amouage. They just do Middle Eastern perfumery right. These motherfuckers know how to do performance. They know how to do power, sillage, spice. And what I've experienced from this particular house is that I've rarely had any fragrance in their lineup that I own that performs poorly, at least off of my skin. And my skin is a very complicated epidermal piece of shit. It doesn't know what it wants to do 90% of the time. Some fragrances literally get absorbed as fast as any sponge could absorb anything. And sometimes it feels like I just put on a swab of Vaseline and shit is lasting for six months. It's like me, fucking stupid. But if I'm gonna jump into the house of Amouage, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fragrances, physically C, by the house of Amouage. And I'm gonna tell you which ones I would particularly start with based on my experiences and my experiences alone. The first fragrance I would recommend, a lot of people will agree with me, is by far the most versatile in the lineup, which is Reflection Man. A lot of people throughout the years have put it in the space of Le Mans by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I don't agree with that just broken. I don't agree with that. And for a very simple reason, I don't like the original Le Mans. I've really never liked the original Le Mans. And this is not giving me nothing Le Mans vibes. It's a beautifully mass appealing, spicy, musky fragrance with a ton of performance. I mean, balls for days. This is not just a signature scent and overall four season scent. This is mass appeal. This is sexy. This is going out. This is clubbing. This is a nonstop, easy first reach when it comes to the house of Amouage. Reflection Man is a staple piece in a lot of collectors collections because of the versatility and performance of this fresh fragrance. Usually when you get the performance that this fragrance has, it's usually darker, richer, more robust. This is a overall fresh, spicy fragrance with incredible performance. So if you're gonna dip your toe in the house of Amouage, I would recommend going Reflection Man first. Next one. For me, a type number two was a gift to me of a fragrance that I truly wanted. I've spoken about it in I don't know how many videos. I've put it in numerous lists. That's Jubilation 25, AKA White the Mercado in a Bottle, AKA Middle Eastern Chic, horseback riding with a silk robe in the middle of the desert saying yee like a Western. There's just so much body and depth and complexity in this fragrance that blows me away. I'm yet to find any fragrance that gives me this stimulus, this, this medulla taint tickling sensation in the back of my neck like Jubilation 25 does. It's to me a masterpiece fragrance. The performance on it, off the charts. The scent profile, especially in cold weather, off the charts. It's still unique, separate from all this other shit, still super sexy, still got body, still got balls, and anybody from the standard I only like designer fragrances to the niche snobs can absolutely appreciate this fragrance. Whoever shits on this fragrance is just lying. Take the cap off. You're capping. Next one. And again, this is off of what I personally own in the Amouage lineup. Not saying that these are end all be all, but this is based off what I own. Amouage material. Blew my sack off when I first smelled this joint. Technically catered for a female. This is completely unisex. I think it leans more masculine than feminine, in my opinion. 
sexy, sweet, powdery, mass appealing, performance, vanillic, smoky, resinous, incredible. Love this fragrance, also performs outstanding. I mean, I'm gonna repeat this over and over again. Amage is no slouch when it comes to performance. This just brought me down like an octave. I felt like I just had aromatherapy or I took a hit of a, you know, cigarette to just bring me down because this is just Sade in a bottle. This is no ordinary love. Mm. Next one. The next one was a shock to me. I blind bought this one and I've left it in the back burner for so long. When I finally got it, I was like, why didn't I get this sooner? Amois Journeyman. If you want spice and herbaceousness, how do you not pick this joint? It's been a minute since I've worn this joint. So let me just, let me just revisit this shit. Cause I remember when I first smelled this joint, I was like, why? Why did I wait so long to get this? Pause, it's in the air right now. Sweet Lord. Oh, now I remember. Oh, I feel it down my spine, fam. Uh, gin, incense, tobacco, resin. There's a big fresh punch here of peppery vibes with that gin note. So it's boozy, it's kind of clear, but also smoky. And there's nice, a nice little tobacco-ish vibe, a little crack cigar. This shit is stupid. This is actually, I got to. Today I got to. It's been a minute since I've worn this joint. It just brought me life. This would be number four, next one. I can't believe I'm putting this one on the list, but out of all the ones that I own, which are seven or eight, and trust me, I'm gonna get more. This, is the, this isn't the end all be all list. This is just my list of what I own and how I would purchase them. I can't believe I'm putting this one on the list, but there is a particular reason. <sighs> Amouage Interlude Black Iris. I don't like Interlude Man on myself. I've said it time and time again. I really liked it on other people and it just performs incredible, better than a lot of fragrances in the collection. But the Blue Beast off of my skin was just too cumin-centric, animalic, a little bit too B.O.-ish for my personal taste. But Black Iris brought that powdery element and I feel like it reduced that punch, that, that harsh B.O. cumin -y kind of vibe and added this hint of softness to it, like loosen it up, chill out, relax, re re loosen your posture, curve over a little bit. Stop being so military with a stick up your ass. Like the Black Iris portion, that powdery vibe, really reformulated the entire initial constitution of what was interlude man. This is now for me a more wearable, still with the same performance factor of interlude man. I'm talking 14 plus hours, but now for me, it's just a touch of femininity. And I mean like just a touch. You can't always be so fucking tense. It's like a gang banger, son. You can't be banging on breakfast. Like you need to chill sometimes. You need to relax a little bit. And I feel that this performance animal that should only, only be worn in the winter, I repeat, only be worn in the winter is incredible. I absolutely recommend for you to wear this joint, but just keep in mind that winter only, please. Like don't kill people around you wearing this joint. Easy on the trigger. When I say easy on the trigger, I mean max five and you're overdoing it. So Black Iris would be my fifth and final choice based off what I particularly own. So that's the starting five lineup. If you're gonna get into the space of Amouage, these are just five recommendations that I personally own that I think you should dip your toe in. Obviously, Refraction Man, if you don't have it, should be number one. Definitely get a sample of these joints before you blind buy them, because your floos will fly. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. Let me know what your five introductory Amouage fragrances would be in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Uh, For the rough, rugged, and broad way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, fuck
all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...